Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm getting ready for a date night, so I'm gonna take you through the entire get ready with me process from start to finish. As you can see, we're starting pretty rough with the air dried hair. I'm calling this my catfish date night tutorial. We have to do makeup, hair, choose an outfit, accessories, fragrance, the works. It's going to be quite a process to get to the end result, but I carved out plenty of time. We don't need to rush, but we do need to get started. I'm starting with eyes today, so I'm gonna prime my eyelids quickly with the new Chanel Sublimage Le Correcteur Ye Concealer. I've loved this concealer. I'm going to do kind of a medium smoky eye. I'm basically recreating a look I did yesterday. My makeup turned out so great yesterday, and I didn't even film. It was a complete waste of a good makeup day, but I was playing around with the Celestial Nirvana eyeshadow palette, again from Pat McGrath Labs, and I loved the way the look turned out. Since nobody saw it yesterday, except my husband, <laughs> I'm going to recreate it again today. Hopefully it will turn out just as good. I know it was the winged eyeliner and the brows that made the look so much better. With a fluffy brush, I'm going into this shade right here and this is going in the crease. We have family in town this weekend on my husband's side from across the pond, so we have some dinner plans this weekend. I'm really excited. It's the first time we've had a busy weekend in a long time. The highlight of our weekend has been going to our local tennis court and playing pickleball. So I am actually really excited to get dressed up and do my makeup to leave the house. And the restaurants we booked this weekend have incredible views. And I've never been there before. There are so many incredible restaurants in Miami. I feel like we've gone to most of the big ones, but there's always something new opening up, and there are a couple classic spots that we have yet to hit. I'm going to warn you now, even though I'm using the Celestial Nirvana eyeshadow palette, this look is completely neutral. With the Sephora Pro Crease 19 brush, I'm dipping into this chocolate shade right here, and this is going to add a little depth. I'm keeping this very low in the outer V, and then I'm also going to take it down the lash line just a little bit. I don't want this look to get too smoky smoky. Tomorrow's going to be a really busy day as well. I have a packed schedule on Saturday. Chanel is having a fashion show in town at the Faina Hotel, and then tomorrow they're doing a collection preview. So if I can, I'm going to take you along with me. I'm going to try to vlog the entire experience. One of my essays reached out and asked if I was interested in attending, so I booked my appointment through her. But this will be my first collection preview, so I'm not sure if you have time to take pictures and videos, or if it's very rushed, kind of in, out. Going back with my original fluffy brush just to blend those together. Make it nice and soft and seamless. I really like the Pat McGrath Labs Matte Eyeshadow Formula. It's not patchy. It's easy to blend and it just looks so pretty. With the addition of Celestial Nirvana, I really don't need any other eyeshadow palettes, but I did cave and I purchased the new Makeup by Mario eyeshadow palette. I could not help myself. It's a neutral eyeshadow palette, which I do not need, but it looks so beautiful. It reminds me a lot of the Natasha Denona Glam eyeshadow palette, which is one of my favorites, but it looks a little bit smaller. So I kind of thought, even if it is similar, if this size is better, or at least a more convenient size, then I'm likely to pull it out of the drawer a lot more. And it looks like it could be a really nice travel palette as well. It's big, but it's not too big. It's not cumbersome. Like, I would never travel with this. For the lid, I'm picking up Bronze Infatuation with my flat shader brush, and this is going all over the lid. I really like how sparkly this shadow is, but it doesn't leave a lot of fallout. I don't have glitter all over my cheeks. I thought I was basically done with new makeup, but Shantakai was kind enough to send over their new holiday collection. It is so pretty. The pictures looked beautiful and I was very interested, but photos just don't do it justice. I unboxed everything so I could take pictures and you know, properly document the collection earlier and wow. I was so blown away, so I'm gonna test those products today. I was trying to remember what I did yesterday. I also applied a little bit of this gold shade. So this I'm going to pop in the center of the lid. I think fingers might actually be a little bit too much. It's 
For now, we're moving on to the face. I'm going in with the Iconic London Underglow Blurring Primer. This smells so nice. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's more of a soft focus glow. It's really pretty. It kind of smells like vanilla. Before I sat down to film, I shaved my face, <laughs> so my skin should be nice and smooth. I'm going in with my current favorite foundation. This is the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow. I have the shade 6.5. It's so pretty. It's very perfecting. I love the way it wears throughout the day. So that's why this has been in the top drawer. I had no doubts what foundation and primer I was going to use, but I don't know what concealer I want to use. I'm torn between a couple that I really like. Part of me wants to use the Chanel. The new Dior is really good. I still really like that new Charlotte Tilbury. But I'm almost done with a Pat McGrath Labs. It is so satisfying to finish a product and throw it in the empties bin, so I might just go in with the Pat McGrath. Look at that, do you see? I'm starting to scrape the sides of the Pat McGrath. Okay, we're just gonna use this one. This will be my second tube of Pat McGrath Labs concealer. I already have a backup, <laughs> so I'm not too concerned. But it just goes to show how good it really is. Because with all of the options I have in my drawer, there is no way I would go through two full tubes if I didn't really like it. I'm gonna do my concealer trick, so I'm just going to tap this out a little bit. But I'm not going to blend it all the way. Just kind of spreading it around all, everywhere that I want to highlight. Just like this. Looks crazy, but we're gonna let it sit. You have to trust the process. The restaurant where we're eating tonight, it's called Juviet. It has a beautiful view. It's down on the beach, kind of near Lincoln Road, and it's going to be outside, I think. Well, I'm not sure because my husband tends to put up a bit of a fight if they try to sit us outside because he gets really hot. I walked at Jazzy earlier and it actually feels kind of nice outside. So I'm not sure what the weather is going to be like. It's been really sunny and very hot in the afternoon. I have a feeling we might be outside and even though it is closer to the beach, so you get that really nice cool breeze, it's incredibly humid. So I'm going to spritz with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is my secret weapon against the humidity. It's not gonna do anything for my hair, but <laughs> my hair might get crazy. At least the face will be intact. You have to pick your battles. Now I'm going to blend out the concealer completely. And by letting it dry down and getting a little bit tacky before you completely blend, just helps to brighten the concealer. And then by refreshing the concealer quickly with the makeup setting spray, it helps to lock everything in place. I do have the new Chantecaille Blur Powder, which I think is just limited edition, pretty packaging. I think the powder is exactly the same. We love the blur powder, we're familiar with it. I can't take any chances tonight, so I'm going in with the Chanel Loose Powder. So I'm gonna set my face with this first, and then at the end of the makeup, I'll just do a light dusting. It seems like we are getting to the busy holiday season because I've received so many emails this week about different events in town. Not necessarily from brands, but there are a couple brand events that I'm excited to go to. I'm gonna do my best to get into vlogging mode. But even just around Miami, there are a lot of Miami events. Like dinners, fundraisers, lots of fun parties and events. I'm getting excited. A little bit stressed, but excited. For bronzer, I'm just gonna go in with the Terracotta from Guerlain. This has been in the top drawer. It's my everyday bronzer. I've had it for such a long time. I moved it to the top drawer so I can finally use it up. And I am starting to, you can see on the sides of the pinwheel in certain areas, it's starting to disappear. Which I hate to wish the product away, but at the same time, I bought it years ago, so 
it's time to use it up. And it's such a pretty color. It's just easy. I just remembered I was planning to pick up one of the Rouge G lipstick cases from Guerlain during the Sephora holiday savings event. I thought I was done done after the Makeup by Mario palette. I may just pick it up just because I don't think I need another one. I have several of the cases. I've been collecting them. I don't necessarily need a huge collection of all of them, but the butterfly lipstick cases were so pretty, so I might spring for that. And then that will be the final, final purchase from Sephora. Other than that, there's really nothing I've seen recently from Guerlain makeup-wise that I'm interested in. And usually they come out with such beautiful holiday collections that I can't resist. This year, I'm resisting. They have two fragrances that I need to try. The Rose, I think it's called Rose Oud. And then there's another fragrance, which I think is another Oud. I am desperate to get my nose on those fragrances, but more excited about the fragrance than I am the makeup. Finally, we can dig into some more new products. How pretty is this seafoam green bag? It doesn't have a logo. It's not branded, but it's the same color as the Chantecaille product. So I don't, oh, you know what? It does have a little C. So maybe the bag is available as well, but it's nice and plush. And then inside, they threw in the new holiday collection. This is such an interesting holiday collection because the seafoam green, it is not very holiday. It doesn't scream gold, red, typical luxury collection for the holidays. But I think it's kind of fun. It looks so pretty and pearlescent. So I'm gonna quickly unbox these for you. This is the Lotus Perfect Blur Glow Powder. This is the Lotus Blossom Radiant Blush. Now, unfortunately, my blush arrived broken, so I did my best to kind of push it back in the pan. You can kind of see it. Ooh. It's very pretty, but it, these powders are so soft and delicate, so you really do want to be careful with them. And then this is the Lotus Radiance Highlighter. The lipstick is so beautiful. It has that really pretty kind of glittery look to it. But if I remember correctly, it doesn't feel chunky or glittery on the lips. I do think that will be a really pretty lipstick shade for tonight as well. I have this Sephora 96 brush. Very gently, I'm going to try to apply this blush. Oh, it's a pretty color. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, but in the pan, it almost looks like a mauve. More of a mauve -y bronze. Oh yeah, and it definitely has glow to it. That's pretty. And you know, I think it goes really nicely with the eye. Since the eye is a little bit smokier, it's kind of nice to have a blush that's a little bit more subdued. I don't know if I love the sheen. It's very highlighty. You see, if I build it up too much, it might look a little bit muddy or dark if I turn out of the light. That's the thing with highlighters. If they're a little bit too dark on the skin, like if I'm looking forward, this looks really dark now because of the shadow. In the light, it will be fine. Then if you turn out of the light, it gets really dark. It's like turning on and off the light switch. Now this looks really pretty. Ooh. Yeah, that's very pretty. It's not even really all that shimmery. It just gives a very light glow, which I love. I think it goes really nicely with the blush. I have a Sephora 18 brush, picking up the original eyeshadow, and I'm going to buff that beneath the lower lash line. Concentrating on the outer half. With a little precision brush, I'm picking up this, and I'm going to pop that on the inner corner of the eye. The last time I used this palette, I went in with the blue, but I actually think this is the perfect inner corner highlight. 
eyes are coming along, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and liquid eyeliner off camera and then I will come back. We're finally starting to get somewhere with this makeup. I have another new product to share. La Perla came out with their own beauty line and they sent over a box including fragrance, some beautiful lipsticks, which I kind of want to show you, but they're so pretty. They have a little design etched on them. I want to take pictures of them first. So I'm not going to show you the lipsticks just yet, but there is also an eyeliner, which I didn't try because I'm rushing and I just needed to do a nice wing, but this is their new volumizing mascara. I've seen the fragrances at Nordstrom and the bottles look very pretty. I love the packaging. I haven't opened this yet, so I have no idea what the wand looks like. Ooh, that's not bad. I usually like wands that are curved like that, but it does look a little bit gloopy, but let's see. The wand is a little bit funny because the bristles are sort of spiraled, but I do like the curve. Not bad. I think because the wand is so different, it kind of takes a second to get used to it. But I like that it's tapered and curved so you can get those inner lashes really easily. I just finished one coat. I'm not sure it's going to replace my top top mascaras, but I think it's really good. It, and it's weighted, it feels really heavy. It just kind of takes you a second to get used to it. This eye, I think, turned out really nice. Makeup is now basically done. The last step is lips, and I'm not sure what lipstick I want to take with me. I'm not really sure what I'm going to wear yet, so I'm going to hold off on lipstick. Lipstick always has to be last for me. I don't know why, but I cannot finish getting ready if my lipstick is already on. I took a round brush to these front pieces, but I'm not going to worry about the rest. Like I said, I just let it air dry, so it's looking a little bit fluffy. I grabbed my T3 curling iron. This is the one and a quarter. It's my favorite size, and it's pretty quick and easy, so I'm going to do my best to be as quick and stealthy as possible, but I am going to set up my cell phone so you can see how I style the hair. Good behavior spray, of course. I do my best so that the first curl hits at the cheekbone. I'm gonna wait and break them up at the end. I might even break them up when I arrive at the restaurant. I'm not really giving my hair much time to set. Hair's done, makeup is nearly done. I'm dressed, I just threw on some accessories. This is not the outfit I was planning to wear, but I tried on four different outfits. This is the one that I hate the least. And now we are slowly approaching the time that I need to leave. So we don't really have time for second guesses. I'm just gonna go with it. And for the lip, I'm just gonna do kind of an everyday nude lipstick. I think that's the smartest way to go. So I'm going to line my lips with the Beige Natural Lip Liner from Chanel. I tried to throw on a fall outfit and I just couldn't figure out what boots to wear and I just couldn't make it work. I had a blazer, tried a couple different combinations and I just feel like 
it's Miami. Yes, it's November, but we're in Miami. I decided to embrace the tropical climate, so I'm wearing a little floral two-piece. For lipstick, I'm going with Gucci Blaze of Noon. This is a really pretty nude. And I basically keep it in my purse anyways. And then I'm going to top that off with the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump in the shade White Peach. This is my go-to nude combination. Okay, I need to throw my stuff in a bag. I need to choose a bag and then throw everything in the bag. But, ah, I need a fragrance first. I have two new La Perla fragrances. This one is the Luminous Eau de Parfum. This just says La Perla Eau de Parfum. I think because I'm wearing a floral outfit, I'll just try the Luminous. Sounds like it might be a little bit lighter too, which is probably better. That is so pretty. <gasps> this bottle is so pretty. I love the pearl on top. Okay, I can kind of smell it through the cap. I think it smells really nice. I'm just gonna go for it. I never do this, but. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. Wow, it smells musky, floral. I don't have time to look up the notes. <laughs> But I like it. Oh, it's so pretty. This, this is me in a bottle. This is my type of fragrance. It's light. It's a little bit sweet. It's a little bit princessy, but elegant. Maybe a little bit fruity. But just yummy. Oh my goodness. I love it. The luminous. Oh my gosh. This smells so nice. Okay, one more. Done. I am impressed. I cannot wait to read more about this fragrance. For now, just trust me, it's really good. Almost smells peach, like peach or apricot. But then a little, ugh, oh, yumminess. It's a little sensual. I think it must, it must be the musk. Oh my gosh. I cannot get over this. It smells so nice and I love the little ribbon. The bottle is so like dainty, feminine. And that's how the fragrance smells. But very sophisticated. Mmm. Going in with a little Chantecaille powder. Just gonna dust a little bit just to finish the makeup. Give myself a little extra glow. You know, I might add just a little blush because the blush, yeah, the blush I used was broken and crumbly and I kind of feel like I need a little something else on the cheek. I'm just going to go in quickly with this Gucci blush because it just happened to be in the top drawer. I just want something a little bit more pink. Okay, that's plenty. <laughs> Let me not get carried away and ruin the look. Final, final step. I always like to do a little highlighter on my shoulders, my chest. This is an essential step. Highlight everything. Uber's on its way, we can't be late. I just need to grab my stuff, throw it in a bag, and we are out the door. We are ready for date night. Thank you so much for watching and for getting ready with me and trusting the process. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be listed down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I was second guessing my tropical choice and then I stepped outside and it's ridiculously hot and humid. I don't even know why I brought a jacket. So I'm feeling a little bit more confident. Here we go.
is fine. I can feel it. But you are the one, oh baby, be mine. I can feel it. 